what is classification classification is basically a predictive modeling it consists of assigning a class label to the set of unclassified cases or to the set of unclassified instances classification basically consists of two steps first one is the model construction and second one is the model usage model construction is basically a set of predefined classes describing a set of predefined classes that means we will initialize the machine or we will initialize the machine with the training set that is a set which consists of predefined classes that is the set which consists of predefined classes we will basically initialize the machine with that training set and by using that by using some uh, kind of classification algorithm we will generate or we will uh, gen uh, we will create a model that is known as the classification model then that classification model is used for the prediction of unknown or future instances or you can say for classifying the future or unknown object that means classification consists of the construction of the model and the usage of model for the classifying the future events now going towards the neural network classification algorithm that is multi layer perceptron neural network classification the mlp neural network algorithm performs a learning on the multi layer feed forward neural network it iteratively learns a set of weights for the prediction of the class label of tuples basically what it will do it will take a set of input layers and based upon those input layers it will apply some kind of activation function or those input layers are being fed simultaneously towards the hidden layer that hidden layers will correspond simultaneously towards the output layer that means the collective uh, results or the you can say that the collective sum summed of the hidden layer is considered as an output now each layer is made up of a unit the units to the network corresponds to the attribute measured for each training tuple that means each training tuple is fed as an input to the input layer that is the inputs are fed simultaneously into the units making up the input layers these inputs pass through the input layer and are then weighted and fed simultaneously simultaneously to the second layer of neuron like units that are known as a hidden layer that means in the input layers we will have the attributes of a tuple or we will have instances and those instances are simultaneously weighted and fed up to the second layer that is known as a hidden layer and the output of the hidden layer units can be input to the another hidden layer and this process is going on iteratively the number of hidden layer is arbitrarily although in practice usually only one is used you can use a number of hidden layers usually only one hidden layer is used the weighted output of the last hidden layer are input to the units making up the output layer that means the weighted output of the last hidden layer is the final output of our uh, classification algorithm now the algorithm of multi layer perceptual neural network first one is initializing all the weights with small random number like we have, we have to initialize the inputs with some kind of random weights after that calculate the sum of all the inputs like we have weighted sum after that calculate the activation function of all the hidden layer and the output of all the layers are combined to form as a prediction like we have some kind of inputs and some kind of weights over there we will combine those weights and we will apply the activation function in order to get the output or in order to get the prediction now here uh, i have explained some kind of uh, process diagram for that in this case the function will return 1 only if the weighted sum of all the inputs is greater than the threshold that means it will predict true only if the weighted sum of all the input is greater than the threshold and zero otherwise in this case we have four inputs that is x1 x2 x3 and x4 and we have initialized these four inputs with four weights 
that is W1, W2, W3, W4. We will combine all these inputs with their weights just like we have W1 into X1 plus W2 into X2 plus W3 into X3 plus W4 into X4 plus B is some kind of activation which we will apply over this. And all these weighted will correspond to one kind of output that we, that we will consider as our predicted value. The tool which is being used for this uh, algorithm is Java NetBeans and Veka as an external library. Now I am going to demonstrate the same project into NetBeans. What we will do is that we will just right click to the main button. I have created one project named Neural Network. I will just right click to the main file that is GUI1.java and click to the run file. Now, here I have some kind of data sets over there, just like lung cancer, ovarian cancer, ovarian.erf, when complete, data underscore final.erf. These are some data sets which are already uh, preloaded in this interfaces, with this interface. Now, you can also browse some kind of new data set from there, like browse, like I am going to browse some data set from my, just like I will browse weather data set file has been successfully saved and uploaded then this file will be shown into this list just like I will right click to the weather.erff the content of that data set is being shown into the data set content window after that I will write uh, I will click to the next button here I have some kind of pre-processing or filtering steps just like just to show that if we have some kind of missing values in that data set then those missing values will be replaced just like I will right click to, I will click to the replace missing value filter. It will apply that missing value filter over, over there. After that, I will again click to the next button. And here is the classification algorithm that is neural network. That is multi-layer perceptron based neural network. I will click to that uh, button. Then the neural network will work. What it has shown? In the weather data set, I have 14 instances. Out of those 14 instances, 12 instances are correctly classified and 2 instances are incorrect, incorrectly classified. That means, out of 14 instances, 12 values are being matched. That means, 12 actual and predicted values matched and 2 actual and predicted values are not matched. After that, we have Kappa statistics that will represent the correlation or the matching percentage it is 0.6585 that means the more it close to 1 the more is the accuracy. Now we have some kind of uh, error rate that is a mean absolute error, root mean, root mean square error, relative absolute error, root relative squared error. Now we have the confusion matrix. The confusion matrix represents the sum of diagonal element is equal to correctly classified instances that is 9 plus 3 that is 12 they represent the correctly classified instances what does this confusion matrix basically represent 9 plus 0 that means in the whole data set we have 9 instances with value yes and 3 plus 2 5 instances with value no out of those 9 yes instances same, uh, uh, the total 9 instances are uh, correctly classified and in case of no we have total 5 instances and only 3 instances are correctly classified and 2 instances to which we have given 